Squares come in such a vast range of flavors and styles that surely there's something out there for every taste. Now it's time for the ultimate application, lemon meringue squares. Just like the pumpkin cheesecake squares, it starts with the crust. Two thirds of a cup of graham cracker crumbs. To make sure that the crust is not at all crumbly, I need to add flour to this, half a cup. And for a little character and texture, which you always wanna make your square stand out next to anyone else's, because admittedly, there can sometimes be a little square competition amongst friends. This is half a cup of sweetened flaked coconut and a third of a cup of melted unsalted butter. Just like the shortbread crust, it's important that the mixture stay crumbly before you press it into the pan. I have my eight inch square pan lined exactly the same way I did for the pumpkin swirl cheesecake squares. Drop in the crumbs and press them in just like the shortbread crust. I've preheated my oven to 350 and these take about 12 minutes just to set the graham cracker and flour together. When you're serving a lemon square, a small bite should have a big lemon taste. So I like to concentrate that lemon sweet and tart together. So what I use as a base is actually a full tin of sweetened condensed milk. This makes the square rich, it makes the filling thick, and of course it adds just the right amount of sweetness I need. I also add five egg yolks. It's almost like a lemon custard, but has the full tartness because I add two thirds of a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then to really enhance the lemon flavor, about two teaspoons of lemon zest. What I particularly love about this filling is this beautiful lemon color. Time to check on the crust. There we go. I have one that's completely cooled. And this lesson is important, so worth emphasizing again. Cool your crust completely before you put on the filling so that the crust doesn't absorb or soak in the filling. No soggy squares here. The filling's ready for the oven. In a 325 oven, a little bit lower, takes about 20 minutes, and the test is same as with the cheesecake squares. It should have that little jiggle just in the center. Perfect. Look at that lovely filling. It's got that nice little jiggle to it. I'll let that cool completely to room temperature and then chill it down to set it. So now I can start on the third layer, the marvelous marshmallow meringue to top off the square. I'll start by adding three tablespoons of water to the bowl. Now this meringue is not the same type of meringue you put on a lemon meringue pie. That's too fragile and moves too much. You don't get the clean slices. This one is a little more set. And what it takes to do that is a bit of gelatin. It's gelatin that's behind classic marshmallows. Two and a quarter teaspoons. I'll also add a teaspoon of meringue powder. This is simply dried egg whites that once I pour hot sugar over them will whip up into that familiar white meringue topping. I'll just let this sit while I boil the sugar. I add two tablespoons of water to the pot, half a cup of regular granulated sugar, but then a quarter cup of white corn syrup. This gives the marshmallow meringue its sweetness, but also adds to that structure because I want to be able to slice these squares easily. Without stirring, I bring it up to a full boil. My whip attachment ready, because the sugar is almost at 240. There we go. Medium speed and gradually pour in the sugar. Now that the hot sugar has melted the gelatin and the meringue powder, I'll keep whipping this on high speed and all of a sudden, watch the marshmallow appear. It's got a great stretch to it. You definitely want to work with it while it's still soft. I have a chilled square with the lemon filling ready for the meringue layer. You can really get a sense how light and fluffy it is. and then just spread it over every single corner of the square. 
This is almost ready to go. I will chill it down for an hour just to let that marshmallow fully set. And I have one done. And now for the finishing touch. Using a simple butane kitchen torch, you can just add that melted marshmallow glow to it. Just a hint of it. Just like on lemon meringue pie. Perfect. Now that is spectacular. There. How's that for a perfect square?